curious about the latest in fashion tech, from oxygen wearable sensors to new AI models? Find out. Welcome to the 360 Fashion Podcast where you'll get the week's top 10 most important news items in the realm of fashion and technology. I'm your host Anina Nett, the founder of the 360 Fashion Network. I read hundreds of news items from fashion, augmented reality, virtual reality, wearables, robotics, textile innovation, and futurism every day. I choose the most critical items to summarize for you saving you time so you can focus on your business. Listen and subscribe to receive this roundup regularly. Now let's jump right into it. First, Luxa, luminescent oxygen sensor by Ozen, is a non-invasive wearable device that measures tissue oxygenation. The sensor can detect peripheral arterial disease and diabetic foot conditions early on so they can be treated accordingly. Luxa is sleek and bendable, so can be easily worn on the foot. Ozen's goal with its revolutionary technology is to change how medical conditions are detected, monitored, and treated improving health outcomes in patients and helping physicians make more informed decisions. News Source, Behance, AI Haute Couture A report by Globe Newswire in 2023 suggested that the global market for AI in fashion is projected to reach U.S. $16.3 billion by 2030. McKinsey estimates generative AI's contribution of up to US$275 billion in the next three to five years in the combined operating profits in the apparel, fashion, and luxury sectors. Gen AI is reshaping the fashion industry in unprecedented ways, giving rise to new opportunities and innovations. Brands and retailers such as Revolve, Casablanca Paris, Frame, Snipes, Levi's, Zalando, etc. have started putting Gen AI to use in their processes around intelligent trend forecasting, product design, manufacturing, visual content creation, retailing, personalized fashion recommendations, and customer experience. News source, medium data-driven investor, the global metaverse gaming market is set to surge 1085.92% by 2030. The metaverse gaming market is poised to surge from US$14.2 billion in 2023 to US$168.4.21 billion in 2030. Driven by R, VR, and blockchain, this technological revolution is reshaping the gaming experience. The projected growth unleashes economic opportunities, with virtual assets, currencies, and services gaining real-world value. The metaverse gaming market denotes a virtual space where players engage in real-time interactions, bridging the gap between physical and digital realms fueled by technological advancements such as augmented reality and blockchain. The metaverse in gaming has already transformed the landscape of interactive digital experiences. According to CoinJournal.net the global metaverse gaming market is set to experience a significant change, with projections indicating a substantial leap from US$14.2 billion in 2023 to a staggering US$168.4 billion by 2030. News Source, CoinJournal, Polarization Strikes Back for the Luxury Industry the luxury industry is becoming increasingly polarized, with only 65 to 70 percent of brands expected to achieve a positive growth rate this year. When the word normalization repeatedly appeared in earnings calls of major corporations, it signaled the end of the post-pandemic high-flying era. The luxury market presents both challenges and opportunities from any angle. While Japan and Southeast Asia are welcoming an influx of international tourists, leading to a surge in luxury spending, the United States is expected to see a single-digit decline brands at the top of the pyramid, such as Chanel and Brunello Cuccinelli, are growing rapidly, while Caring, which is in transition, just reported a dismal quarter. Although Unwees continue to dominate the market, it is clear that the younger generations must not be overlooked. News Source Luxury Society, Google launches its largest and most capable AI model, Gemini. Google is launching what it considers its largest and most capable artificial intelligence model Wednesday as pressure mounts on the company to answer how it'll monetize AI. The large language model Gemini will include a suite of three different sizes, Gemini Ultra its largest, most capable category Gemini Pro which scales across a wide range of tasks and Gemini Nano, which it will use for specific tasks and mobile devices. For now, 
the company is planning to license Gemini to customers through Google Cloud for them to use in their applications. Starting December 13, developers and enterprise customers can access Gemini Pro via the Gemini API in Google AI Studio or Google Cloud Vertex AI. Android developers will also be able to build with Gemini Nano. Gemini will also be used to power Google products like its Bard chatbot and search generative experience, which tries to answer search queries with conversational style text. SGE is not widely available yet. News source, CNBC, here are the week's top 5 news. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360fashion.net slash podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode. Get to subscribe so that you won't.